another job. I don't think anyone ever imagined the, the monster it's become now. We've created something which is still going nearly 30 years later. I started going in my teens, late 60s. So I remember Steve Kember, he was one. Everybody thought he was brilliant. And we always went to the Holmesdale in. Before I got the gig for um, doing the Champions League, um, I hadn't done any sporting stuff at all. I worked for Cameron McIntosh in the days before he was a multi-billionaire. My last major one was, was being the music director and, and orchestrator of Guys and Dolls at the National Theatre. And I thought, well, it doesn't get any better than that. But I was in a phase of doing a lot of commercials, a lot of jingles. And it was fact through the woman who was my commercials agent or manager at the time that I got the gig. So I got the date and, and that was fine, you know. I mean, it was, but it was just another date. Who knew? When I got the gig to write the music for this new competition, uh, UEFA didn't really know what they wanted. They knew they wanted something classical, which could mean anything. I just put together a whole load of different um, uh, bits of choral music on a tape and just sent it to them and said, well, look, you know, what do you like? And they came back and they liked Zadok the Priest by George Frederick Handel, which starts off, you know. It's a rising string phrase and lots of high trumpets and it gave me some idea so I, I nicked the beginning from George because he's dead and didn't matter. Then they said, oh but it's got to be an anthem. I said, yeah that's fine, so where are the words? And they said, oh what words? I said, well, I've got to say it's something. So I just came up with a whole load of um, superlatives in English and then I employed them um, uh, a linguist to literally, literally translate them into the two official, other official UEFA languages, which is French and German. You know, superlatives are like the greatest, the most successful, the finest, you know, just anything that expresses what you do get when you watch Champions League football, by and large. So after we'd done all that, after we'd mixed the music, I moved on. I was busy doing other stuff. Um, I think I was in touch with them and I went to some matches and we made sure that it worked in the stadiums and all that stuff. And then it was just another job. I don't think anybody involved with this project, and including UEFA, ever imagined that it would become the, the monster it's become now. That is my original score in pencil, long before computer synths and, and scores and all that stuff. I think. There are various versions of it, uh, some of which are hanging in the ballroom at UEFA, uh, behind very nice frames, but I keep mine in my briefcase. I mean, there's lots and lots of stories of players saying, you know, it, that's the thing. Gareth Bale famously said in an interview he wanted to go to leave Tottenham because he wanted to play, to be sure of playing um, Champions League football, and uh, to be, because he said, I want to hear that music. I think it makes me feel uh, it makes me feel proud and, and, and I'm glad that the music does the job. We've created something which is still going nearly 30 years later.